and welcome back to another reaction video this time brought truly by cj the champ now if you're a subscriber thank you very much if you are just passing through and you just don't happen to see my video thank you thank you for stopping by make sure you hit that like button ultimately hit the subscribe button what are you waiting on no, you've been looking at my videos. Sometimes you probably come across them or whatever. You just not just not sure, but just help a brother out. You know, hit that like button, comment anything, anything. Just comment anything, saying hey, how you doing? Keep up the good work. Any type of encouraging words will help. Right along with the subscribe button and the notification bell. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video from CJ the Champ. This time, he's talking about JoJo. So, he's basically talking about her in this one. So, we're basically just going to figure out exactly what's the deal that CJ has to offer with JoJo and what he has to say about her and everything. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. And I also do have a gaming channel as well, you know. It's in the description down at the bottom. So make sure you check that out as well. Cause uh a brother has a gaming channel. Um just throw it out there. I'm in streaming on Facebook games, so you know, just a little minor note, you know, just to let you know. But other than that, we're gonna go ahead and jump right up in this. All right, here we go. Coming up on this special programming of <laughs> Beyonce is straight. Loco Baroco, I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison, and this is my assistant, Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's a rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or okay. concerns? Um, yes, what about? Should I say to you to speak? Come on, yo, really? That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor. It's that your ass door. <laughs> Though <laughs> starting off all good already. CJ the champ. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. All right. It is finally time to return to jail. I beg your pardon. Goddamn <laughs> prison. Cause Jolene has been locked up. So yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Green Dolphin Street prison. Cause my God, this prison is out of pocket. This makes Alcatraz look like a daycare. But ladies and gentlemen, please wow. sit back and relax as we dive into the aquarium as we will observe pure ignorance. You punk ass oh my God, already off the rip, man. In a priest beating in the name of the Holy Spirit on this special programming of. Okay. <laughs> Jojo right, dish. Ladies and gentlemen. So we're probably all wondering, all right, so uh how did our boy Jotaro's daughter end up getting locked up? Well, obviously we have to start from the beginning. So we start off in these holding cells and they talking about Masco what? what? I beg your pardon. <laughs> Something about the moonlight going in through the shape of the window box. <laughs> This can't what? be happening right now. This is the first scene of the season, and they already talking about. Yeah, I know, this right? Unsanitary ass cell. And then Jojo, Jojo what's wrong with you? Like, oh, y'all some nasty ass hoes, ain't you? Then Jolie start talking, and she like, uh, 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 don't be talking, boo boo. I could tell just by your finger. You in here for? What? And some people really wonder why this show was called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So then yes, like, oh, so I was wondering that, and I see like, now. You end up in here, Jolene Cujo, 19 years old. I'm in here for stealing and hit and run. Miss Cujo, uh, can you please explain to me your situation right now? First of all, man, I'm innocent, so let's get that straight. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> man, but if I'm reading this correctly, it says back when you were 14, you had two burglary charges? What? Those are rough. That's what happens when your dad leave you at 14. Okay, okay, well, can you just please explain the situation? Well, you see, what happened What's up with her was, costume? Me and my Romeo was riding down the street. Now, I thought he was real cute, even though his barber f***ed this shit up right before he picked me up. I'm Dang, cool, what's up with Day. Get back to the situation. Oh, my bad, Chief. So, uh, long story short, we ended up hitting a nigga. So, I'm trying to call 911, but Romeo said, Jolene, don't do it. Homie already dead. So, let's get his body and shove his ass in the trunk. So, obviously, I'm freaking out and everything, but then he said, Jolene, listen, 
I'm Romeo and you my Juliet. So stop acting weird and shit and let's shove the motherfucker really? in the trunk. Really? We shoved him in the trunk and that's why I'm here. Okay, so what you're telling me is Romeo So the ears on that mug. I ain't telling you shit, nigga. I ain't no fed. <sighs> Your funeral then. So while they're still talking, he ends up giving her this tray, and on this tray is a pendant, and he says it's from her dad. So obviously okay. she's like, my dad, that bum ass, I don't want this shit. But then the pendant ends up plucking her. And well, we all know what happens in JoJo when something weird hits you. Like, let's say a mask or an arrow. So after this, she ends up getting okay. transported over to the prison. And then she meets old girl again. Y'all know what the f*** going on, it's your girl, Hermes. This my second time in here, and for this offense, I'm in here for robbing the 7-Eleven across And he the said Hermes. she starts telling Jolene, girl, I hope you got some money on you. If you ain't got no Benjamins on you, you gonna turn into a pack. And bruh, she got it stitched in there. She said, I got five 20s in one and 50 in the other. So they told Jolene to get off. So when she gets off, she can still hear the people in the bus. And the officers are trying to rob Hermes. So she take out the 20 in her head, but they like, hey, Shawty, that ain't gonna be enough. So we're gonna have to take off them stitches. But then this thread ends up coming from Jolene's hand. And that thread ended up slicing off homie's ear. Ooh. So then after this, she ends up having her trial. And this is where it started to get wild. So the judge okay. says, I see that you took this plea deal. But the thing is, the body that you disposed of homeboy was still alive so therefore you are an accessory to murder so that'll be 15 years Ooh. And look at the lawyer bro just let it happen she like, yeah he just let it happen this. i struck a deal and look at this middle earth elf ass acting like nothing happened so he walks back and this whole time homeboy was getting freaky with romeo <laughs> Are you serious? Jolene got packed up and she was sent off to the Green Dolphin Street prison. This is jacked up, yo. So while she's going through intake, she ends up seeing the lawyer again. And look at her, she's like, ooh, I swear to God, I'm gonna choke the sh out of your ass. So while he's driving away, one of her threads come through his AC and she ended up choking the nigga. What? Bro, she really liked that. So then after this, we end up meeting the warden. Loco Baroco, I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison. And this Hello. is the Charlotte. All right, everybody, that's a rundown of the prison. Are there any questions? Oh, it's a hand I'm, puppet. Um, yes, what about? Hey, should I say to you to speak? Uh, um, no, sir. That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor. It's just your ass up. So then we end up meeting her cellmate, Quest. <laughs> so Jolene tries to put her stuff on the bottom bunk, but she throws the whole Ooh. barbell at her. And look at her, the bottom bunk is mine, you nasty b You could take the top. But she ends up having the pendant. She has the pendant. Bird, and there is a literal person in there. So then she over here sitting on this bench yelling at this bird, and she ends up choking the life out of the bird. Yo, somebody call Peter. But Jolene ends oh up my God. the bird. Is out of commission. So then Gwes comes over and grabs her like a titan. And she forces her to put on this rat suit so she can help her escape prison. So she what? lets Jolene run through this gate, but her body starts to grow again. So while she's running back to the gate, this ugly ass stand. Oh my what god. What in the world is like that? A gremlin. So she ends up getting stuck in this bar. So Google Dolls tries to jump up and kill her, but she ends up smacking that nigga. She's like, oh my god. Is this is this my stand? So she ends up rocking her shit. Ooh. Look at her. Oh, you really thought you was about to pull a fast one on a nigga, huh? Well, I'm about to beat you like my daddy, bitch. Yeah. Oh my god. She's beating the life out of her. So yeah, bro, she was done. And she took the bottom bunk for my ass. Made her sorry ass take the top bunk. Oh my god. Yeah, he did. Between now and April. Oh my god. She gave her that freaking work, bruh. I haven't even seen this mug, but this mug look interesting as hell right now. For some money, and she's saying she'll pay it back. So she give us some spare change, but then Quest come back over and she like, Jolene, girl, what the hell are you doing giving your money out like that? That's how you become a bitch. You best go get your money back or you're going to be looking like her. A bitch. 
Oop. So Jolene goes and tracks her down and asks her for the money back, but then the girl says, Didn't I say I'll pay you back? What's wrong with you, nigga? Does your brain now work or something? What? Obviously, you can't process shit. So Jolene walked back and she like, all right, then. So she ends up putting some laxatives in her coffee. So she run up to the No, she didn't. She got a doo-doo, but Jolene's sitting in the bathroom. She's sitting in the She's bathroom. Like, what the? That's some dirty-ass shit. I'll even double it. So she come out and smack the she like sold now give me that ten dollars appreciate doing business with you so then as she's walking over to the door she sees this baseball and then she sees this little boy so then the kids start talking he's saying you will have a visitor but do not meet the visitor so then after this the kid disappears and this guard comes over and smacks her in the hand bro said what you doing looking at a ghost bitch? oh i'll show you casper Ooh. That's messed up. So then the next day, homeboy come back and he started antagonizing her. He like, oh, sorry for yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean to hit you that damn hard, but uh, you was touching the bars and I had to follow the rules. My <laughs> oh, and by the way, you got a visitor. So she goes to see the visitor and it's none other than Joe Taroku, Joe. I am him. Don't play with me nigga. on the dead op deal on Jonathan <laughs> Joe Star's heavy <laughs> grape. I am him. <laughs> So Jolene looking at him and she like, oh, hell nah. So she socks the security guard and she like, oh, so it looks like you finally came back from that grocery trip. Did you ever get the milk, nigga? Cause damn, it took you long enough. But Jotaro's just looking at her like, little girl, shut the f up and sit down. Listen, you were framed. My homeboy right here. You want to know why you were framed? Because you are Joestar. Our family been having ops since the 1800s. So Jolene goes up to the door, but her handcuffs are off and she ended up getting shot. Well, luckily, she oh, ended up what stopping. the hell? So John Gallier's stand Manhattan transfer is like literal wall hacks with a ricochet effect. Look at homeboy posted up in his cell sniping. So the security guard gets up and he ends up doming the security guard. Oh my what? God. First face Gabby and now face John Gallier. God damn. Like who's next? Face Usopp? So later on, they end up figuring out that this is a whole illusion. And what is this? Is this somebody bust a lot? Nope, nope, nope. Nah, bro. I, I got a dirty mind. Nope, we ain't doing this today. So then they escape. The Everybody ain't go left like that, bro. And then another what in the world? And the first one pops a cap in his ass. And they like, wait a damn minute. Ain't no way. It's that Gafay's Gallier. Homie came in with the close combat because he was missing his shots. So homie starts blasting. So Jotaro has to use Star Platinum. But then this stand ends up coming behind him. Bro says, hmm. Looks like you've fallen into my trap. Witness the power of white to snake. Really? So I slaps him, and these discs come out of my boy's head. Bro basically stole my dude's rooms. Now he getting shot. Oh my Wow. God. So then Jolene puts him in a spin cycle and starts beating his ass. And look at Jotaro. He's like, hmm, looks like my daughter's beating some ass. Looks like I've done a great job as a father. Now I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Jolene takes him outside, but it looks like our boy is down for the count. But there is still hope. So she starts talking to the kid again, and he basically says, Yo, dad got his soul snatched. So we learn the kid's name is Emporio. And bro grew up in the prison. He was born here. He was raised here. Oh my God. This nigga's Bane. I was born in it, molded by it. So we go back to face John Kelly <laughs> after he got his ass beat. So White Snake pull up and he's like, Hmm. Looks like you got your ass beat. So therefore, you're kicked from phase. Dang. So after this, Jolene ended up getting another five years added onto her sentence because of that escape. And she got stuck in the punishment war for like <laughs> weeks. So a few weeks end up passing. So they got everybody outside to the water and like, all right, everybody listen to fuck up. We had two inmates go missing the other day. So uh, somebody need to go find their asses. So Jolene volunteers and Armies as well because she's like, hmm, have to tell her about my side quest. So they have to put these bombs on their wrists like they're the suicide squad or something. So the guard says, if you get 50 meters away from me, yo ass goes boom, boom. So he ends up what? on a four wheeler and he takes off. So they like, wait a damn minute. Hold on, homeboy, you going a little too fast. I know, right? On Armies ends up catching up to Jolene. So she's like, how you going to put that on and then you going to roll, roll over the four wheel? So what happened was, 
I got this new stand called Kiss. It's like some stickers, like some arts and crafts and shit. So I ended up beating this dude with a broom, and then I fought the same janitor. His name was McQueen, and he was trying to off himself. And every time he did that, the same thing happened to me. I even offered him my panties, but I guess he didn't want no coochie. I also met the little nigga with the baseball cap, so uh, that's why I'm talking to you right now. So later on, while they walking, the guard comes in and tries to antagonize him. So bro starts messing with him and tries to make him fall in crocodile doo-doo. Like, bro, what is wrong with these guards? And also, there are now six prisoners out there, and they started off with five. So somebody is an imposter. So then the oh, bombs yeah. start beeping, and they look over at the officer, and then gone. And then no girl in the back, like, wait a minute, why is mine beeping fast? Hold on. What the fuck? Dang. Oh my God, that's got to be one of the most tragic deaths I've ever seen. You really died to a wrist bomb. So they pull up on them and they like, all right, all three of y'all nasty motherfuckers, freeze. One of y'all is a stand user, so who is it? Fess up. So Jolene ends up smacking this one girl. So Army's like, girl, why you hit her like that? And Jolene said, hmm, shit, I don't know. I'm just going to drop all their asses. But then this one girl grabs her and all three of them start talking. What? What in the invader Zim is that? So then the stand starts talking like, my name is Foo Fighters. Put some respect on my name, nigga. How dare you disrespect my stand yeah, and run upon my Fighters. So homeboy start moving like an exoskeleton. Ugh. So then Jolene starts chasing after him. And then he's like, oh, I see you trying to get these discs. Well, uh, too bad, you nasty bitch. But then she started making really? the tractor move and the disc are taking off with it. So homeboy hit the jets. He's like, my precious disc. How dare you hit a lick on me? But the <laughs> he's stupid. Ended up slowing him down and homeboy was done for. So then Hermes was about to throw some dirt on him. But then Jolene stops. She's like, ah, 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 stop. We're going to keep him. So Hermes is like, you want to keep this ugly ass peanut head ass green bean looking ass alive? We should feed this water type Pokemon ass to the crops. But Jolene said, no. I hereby announce this severed head of a water type Pokemon, a Jobra. So they ended yeah. up finding Star Platinum's disc. But then the girl that got blown up earlier then pulled back up. And she like, hold on, it's your trusty homegirl Foo Fighters. I just went ahead and just took over the dead girl body. With this old pineapple head ass haircut, she got had a leaf on her head. So they end up getting picked up by all the cops. So later on that evening, we see White Snake in the shed. And then we see the user. Father Poochie, I spend the block in the name of the Lord. <laughs> I am dead. Father Poochie. Father. I was wondering if I could get parole. <laughs> parole? You must be out of your damn mind. But father, I, 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 don't speak until I tell you to speak, bitch. Yes, father. Now then, sister, have you paid your tithes and offerings this month? Um, no, father. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, nah, boo-boo, that ain't gonna do. Have you taken your communion this month? Um, no, father. Oh, sweet Lord, heavenly Jesus, we got a sinner. But father, I promise you a My, my, my. From the streets did she emerge, and to the streets she shall return. And I say unto you, she is for the streets. So be not worried when she must return from when she came. Nigalations chapter 1, verse 1 through 3. Drill hmm. that into your head, bitch. So later on, while they outside playing catch, this one girl starts sipping on FF water. So she like, hey, yo, get your nasty ass, busted ass 360 ways away from my goddamn water. So they keep on and I said, why in the, the world? Girl that Poochie beat up, pull up, and she like, I bet y'all a hundred dollars y'all won't last. So Jolene like, hold on, I ain't got that type of money. Okay, please. okay. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of characters that got the brakes beat off of them that pretty much almost died, showed right back up again. So, yeah, this is an interesting type of anime right now because right now at this point i'm interested i want to see how this is gonna go out and yeah i'm gonna let me see if i can find it somewhere on maybe printy road has it or somebody like that or netflix or whoever or yeah netflix or either hulu i think they might got it up there i'm gonna, I'm gonna find it somehow but I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that out and everything jojo said it don't matter i'll take anything of value so jolene's like no but then armies comes up and she's like yo jolene we cannot pass this up you see how many racks she got in her sock <laughs> playing the game so they start playing the game but then foo fighters gets distracted she like hey fuck away from my cup nigga so she almost dropped the damn ball but they end up making it to 100 so then she like i right, then i throw it 100 more times and i'll give you a whole band take it or leave it what hold on hold on wait a minute you telling me she got a whole band in prison 
Ain't no way, bro. What type of operation is she running up in here? So I know, right? $1,000 now, but it's starting to get late. But then the guard come behind her. He's like, hey, nigga, time is up. So put the damn ball down. So she like, okay, here, here, here. I'll pay you for more time. So he like, all right, then. I'll be taking the glove, though. So she ends up almost dropping the ball, but she picks it up with her stand ability. But apparently, that was against the rules. So then, oh, girl, Stan comes out. Stan was like, pay your debt. So it rips out the money that was stuck in her side boob. This wow. Shit, that ain't enough. So I'll be taking your liver. Oh, my God. Come on. My liver over looking at that. So Jolene and Foo Fighters start playing again so they can get her liver back. So they keep on running, so now they're stuck on an elevator. So then she throw the ball up, but the security guard ends up catching the ball. Really? She said, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Then look at the ugly ass. She's like, <laughs> game over, nigga. Now pay your debt, bitch. But then she ends up smacking her with the ball. <laughs> like, you really didn't think I would have a backup plan, did you? You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. <laughs> Stupid ass. Now I'm about to beat you like my great granddaughter. Oh my god. Dang, man. <laughs> in the nose. In so then the next day, she go over to use the phone. So the big old lunch lady like, hey, bitch, what the f***? Hold on, hold on. Take a seat, boo boo. <laughs> Get real comfortable. Bitch, give me that. Take a coat, too, sister. <laughs> Stay blessed. So then she ends up calling the. Oh my god. Foundation. So they like, all right, listen. And you know something? That mess actually would happen too. Like if it happened to me in real life, yeah, I take the money. I get, hey, you got it. You know, run, you run up to me with like a couple hundred dollars. Hey, you got it. You know, take it right there. Take the seat and all that. Do the whole nine. You come up to me with a bunch of money and everything like that. Yeah, I'll do it too. You still got your dad body up in here. So if you want to give us that disc, meet us in the courtyard. She ended up walking up to this double chin looking guard. She mm. got the Kodak going on and everything. I know, right? She started yelling, but then she saw that money. She said, you could pass. See? She sees Emporio again. He says, bring your ass over here. So then she ends up getting sent to this ghost room. She's like, hold on. What is going on? Why is homie in a piano right now? Weather report. I'm a certified meteorologist. And also this piano is comfortable as hell. So she's like, wait a minute, Emporio, so you're a stand user? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm Casper. Look, I could pull a whole belt out of my ass. I'm literally a wow. video game character inventory. So they're going to try to get to the courtyard so Weather Report is going to come along and help. My God, homie getting real close. I know, right? It was good with you. So they head into the courtyard, and what is that? Oh, no, nah, bro, look at him. Look at his shoes. This damn reject Spider-Man concept art. So while old doodle man's on the prowl, <laughs> Jolene starts to float. So she's like, ah, his standability is zero gravity. So they end up following old Doodle Man to this room. And he started to suck all the oxygen out of the room. Bro made mm. the room a vacuum. So then Weather Report ends up making some cloud suits. And then they end up beating Doodle Man's ass. Thank God, bro. Get him off of my screen. Like, yo, this man Lang Wrangler gives me absolute nightmares. Like, when I think of the boogeyman, I think of this nigga. So then the door starts to open uh -oh. and Poochie is at the door. We're looking at Jolene like, my, my, if it isn't the fatherless child of Jotaro Kujo, should I beat her ass right now? Yeah, or say all that. Pass? So she's like, please, father, let me pass. So he just looked at her and said, all right, then. I don't need to give up my identity yet. So she finally makes it to the courtyard. So she sees the dude. So she's thinking, oh, my gosh, that's him. That's the contact. So she walks up to him. And this man pulls out the blicky. Poochie's like, ah, ha, ha, stupid bitch. You Are really you serious? You out here with that disc? So we get a flashback to 1988. And this man, Poochie, is chilling with the biggest hater in anime history. This man, Dio, the ultimate hating ass nigga. Bro's like, I wake up, breathe, and hate. You know who I really hate, though? Them goddamn Joe stars. So Poochie yeah. ended up learning the ways of Dio to become an ultimate hating ass. So he could ascend to ultimate hating hood in heaven. So Weather Report is over here beat up and he's like, huh, I guess I have to use my final attack. So it starts raining. What? Breaking news out in Florida, it is literally raining frogs out there. I mean, it is Florida. <laughs> Are we surprised that like this happens? No, we aren't. No, so we're not. This man weather report literally started making it rain poisonous frogs. So this man Poochie's like, God 
damn, I got all this shit on my $800 pants, nigga. So he starts counting prime numbers to calm himself down. So Pooch really? sees his guard. He's like, hey, cut, open the door. But he starts running away, so he's like, you pussy. So he kicks the frog at <laughs> dude and makes him go blood. Yo. So we got the dude to open the door, and he just left. So he walks outside to go get the disc from Jolene, but she was shielding herself the whole time. So she got the disc off to the bird that was the actual contact. So this man, Poochie, was pissed. He goes over to her and starts going crazy. Bruh said, oh, you think you did something, bitch? You ain't do jack shit, nigga. That's Come on, man. You did, and you will always be a fatherless ass child. So White Snake left. Jolene went to the ICU, and it was just another day at the Green Dolphin Street Prison. So yeah, that was Beyond Scared Straight JoJo Edition. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, also, one million subscribers. Thank y'all. I know, right? Man. It's very, it's just mind-boggling to me. Like for real, like I'm just a dude that just likes to watch anime and talk about it, and it's just crazy to me, you know, that like we, we really up in here now. So uh, thank y'all so much. Exactly. Man. Uh, make sure y'all go follow my. Other congrats stories, to him. And, uh, I am out of here. Yep. Congrats to CJ. But yeah, I mean, that that anime is like something serious, and at the same time, it's comical, but at the same time, it actually has like. Leaves you asking a bunch of questions. So I might just end up checking out um the Jojo Biz Jojo Bizarre Adventures. I've seen it like shown up at um Hot Topic a little bit and Spencer's and stuff. You know, they always got anime stuff in there and everything. So I seen it in there and I was like, okay, cool. That might be an anime worth watching, maybe or whatever like that. But now after seeing this yeah that's gonna be an interesting thing to be looking at you know because that's gonna be weird and what's up with the outfit though like she be wearing like a little mini skirt or, or a little mini dress or whatever like that and it's like like she just ready to go you know but other than that if you are new please hit that subscribe button hit the bell and hit the smash that like button you know, leave a comment down below your favorite moments of JoJo in this video. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can't thank you even more. Letting this channel grow. Algorithm will continue to show my show, my stuff. So that's the idea we're looking for. That's the thing we're going to go and roll with. So, yeah. Till next time into the next video i will see you then and you know check out that gaming channel while you're at you know link is in the description see you in the next video